हॅलो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हॅव लर्न्ड सॅम्पलिंग थेरम हाव सॅम्पलिंग इज परफॉर्म्ड इन टाईम डोमेन वी हॅव सीन दिस सिग्नल ट्रेन ऑफ इम्पल्सेस दॅट इज इन्स्टंटॅनियस सॅम्पलिंग ऑफ दिस सिग्नल अँड द आउटपुट इज दिस सॅम्पल्ड सिग्नल नाव इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ द सॅम्पल्ड सिग्नल सो इट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टू स्टडी स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ द सॅम्पल सिग्नल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वी आर एबल टू अंडरस्टँड द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ अली एझिंग अँड वी आर ऑल्सो एबल टू प्रूव्ह दिस रिलेशनशिप दॅट इज सॅम्पलिंग थेरम फ्रॉम द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ द सॅम्पल सिग्नल दिस इज वी आर गोईंग टू सी इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर फर्स्ट वील सी दिस हाव द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ द सॅम्पल सिग्नल वील ड्रॉ दिस स्पेक्ट्रम अँड see how this effects now first of all we took this signal x of t is a finite energy and band limited signal okay we are considering now the low pass signal so it is having some frequency maximum value this is the train of in impulses s of t so we should first write s of t in mathematical form so this s of t is constructed from impulses this is del of t this is shifted version of del of t by the amount t s on the right side this is shifted version of del of t shifted by 2 t s so this is the signal s of t is constructed by adding this individual signals so we can write so we can draw this is your del of t at ts you can call the signal del of t minus ts at 2 ts this impulse the signal is del of t minus 2 ts likewise on this side at minus ts call the signal del of t plus ts so sum of all such signals is s of t so if we add this all signals will get s of t which is like this having unity amplitude and impulses at regular intervals of multiples of ts so s of t is a sum of this plus this plus this plus this mathematically we can write it as s of t is equal to we'll take first this component del of t plus ts plus del of t plus del of t minus ts plus del of t minus 2 ts and so on so in the summation form we can write this as del of t minus n ts okay so ts 0 ts 1 ts minus 2 ts plus 1 ts like this so n is varying from minus infinity to infinity so this becomes s of t now you are multiplying x of t with s of t and getting this sampled version of the signal x del of t so x del of t is equal to x of t into s of t multiplication 
of the signal with this signal. So you can write x of t multiplied with this. Now you know the sampling property of the impulse function that if we do like this signal x of t is multiplied by a impulse at t0 at this point sorry impulse at t0 so this becomes x of t0 multiplied by del of t minus t0 so this becomes t0 so in this case if you take this x of t inside this will become x of n t s so we will write here x del of t is the sampled version of the signal n varying from minus infinity to infinity x of this become n t s to del of t minus n t s now this x of omega is Fourier transform of x of t this s of omega is the Fourier transform of s of t and x del of omega we are going to draw is the Fourier transform of x del of t so we know that multiplication in time domain is equivalent to convolution in frequency domain so here this and this signal are multiplied to get the sampled version so in frequency domain what happens this transform of x of t and this transform of s of t get convolved with each other to get this signal okay so we are going to use this concept for finding out the spectrum of the sampled signal so first we will write that as x del of t is equal to x of t into s of t x del of omega is equal to x of omega convolved with this is the sign of convolution s of omega divided by 2 pi okay so this is the formula for convolution and this is multiplication in time domain so this is in time domain this is in frequency domain so we'll write uh, now the formula for s of omega now writing this formula directly s of omega is equal to 2 pi upon t s summation so this is again a train of impulses in frequency domain which are regularly placed at interval omega s the sampling frequency in radian so this becomes train of impulses omega minus n omega s where this omega s is the sampling frequency in radian now we will put this s of omega in this formula to get the value of spectrum of the sampled signal so x del of omega is equal to we will write like this 1 upon 2 pi into bracket this 
x of omega into this convolution convolved with this or 2 pi upon t s summation del of omega minus n omega s where n is varying from minus infinity to infinity okay now after simplification what we get this 2 pi and 2 pi get cancelled so this 1 upon t s remains here 1 upon t s x of omega convolved with del of omega minus n omega s now you know that uh, shifting property of the convolution sum and a convolution with impulse signal so here we are doing convolution with impulse signal for the spectrum so this spectrum get shifted by this amount so that property that property is like this when the spectrum x of omega get convolved with del of omega minus say omega s so this becomes this shifts this x of omega to minus omega s so this is the shifting property of the convolution with impulse signal so applying this property to all these impulses all these impulses so you can observe here this becomes 1 upon T s so we are not continuing from minus infinity okay writing some terms so this becomes x of omega plus 2 omega s plus x of omega plus omega s plus x of omega plus x of omega minus omega s plus x of omega minus 2 omega s and so on so this is very important relation okay so you can see s of omega here is a train of impulses we'll draw this train zero omega minus n omega s means for the value of n is equal to one omega minus omega s for the value of n is equal to two omega minus 2 omega s means shifted impulses this is omega minus omega s this is omega minus 2 omega s so this occurs at omega s this occurs at omega 2 omega s likewise in this direction also at minus omega s there is one pulse so when this spectrum is convolved with this spectrum this happens you get x of omega first term which is multiplied by 1 upon t s so here the amplitude is 1 multiplied by 1 upon t s so the whole amplitude becomes 1 upon t s okay so this is your original spectrum at 0 omega plus omega s this spectrum is present at minus omega s so shifted version of the spectrum this spectrum now this part of the spectrum omega minus omega s this will be shifted on this side sorry we'll draw like this omega minus 
टू ओमेगा एस सो दिस इज प्रेजेंट एट ओमेगा एस ओमेगा माइनस टू ओमेगा एस इज प्रेजेंट एट ट्वाइस ओमेगा एस लाइक दिस एंड सो ऑन ऑन द राइट एंड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द स्पेक्ट्रम इज okay this is factor 1 upon ts so we can observe that this is infinite sum of shifted versions of x of omega scaled by a factor 1 upon ts so whenever we are going to sample the signal sample x of t like this so after sampling we get a spectrum like this this is an infinite sum of this original spectrum and its shifted version and its shifted version and its shifted version like that and this whole uh, all the spectrums are scaled by a factor 1.t so the value of omega s is very crucial in this case how this value affects the reconstruction process that we'll see in the next lecture thank you